Hello everyone. Family day and family law. An early bird deadline for God and government is today. Tons of moving parts to the Care Not Kill campaign right now. The start of a campaign on conscience in Ontario and we are looking for a full-time IT and systems administrator. It's Wednesday, February 15th and this is Quick Updates. This coming Monday is Family Day in five Canadian provinces. Whatever we think of such a holiday, it's an opportunity to reflect on what the family is. This year also marks the 75th anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. That document clarifies that the family is the natural and fundamental group unit of society, entitled to protection by society and the state. This perspective on the family was intentionally included in the Declaration to point to the natural family as an institution that was created by God and which is the foundation of civilization. So many in our society have forgotten what the starting point of the family really is. Details about Canadian family law are explained further in our recent Principles of Family Law document. This Family Day, take a moment to send that document to your MPP or your MLA and ask them to consider how these principles can impact the law in your own province. Hello everyone, ARPA Canada's National God and Government event is back. The Lord willing, we plan to gather up to 100 delegates from across the nation here in Ottawa for a day of learning, a day of lobbying and half a day of strategizing capped off with an evening celebration banquet. If you want to learn how the gospel applies to Canadian politics, this action-packed event is for you. Last day for early bird pricing of $150 before the price goes up to $250 this Wednesday. Go to arpacanada.ca slash GNG2023 to sign up. Hey everyone, we're here in downtown Ottawa in front of the Parliament buildings with an exciting update for you on euthanasia legislation in our country. As you know, last week the government introduced Bill C-39, seeking to delay the expansion of euthanasia to people with mental illness. Last week also, towards the end of the week, MP Ed Fast introduced a private member's bill that addresses this very part of euthanasia legislation and would actually exclude people with mental illness from applying for medical assistance in dying, therefore protecting those vulnerable people. You're going to hear much more about that from ARPA Canada in the weeks and months ahead. Lastly, this week Friday, so a few days from now, the joint committee that Jennifer and I presented to and we talked to them about extending to mature minors, that committee is going to be tabling their report in the House of Commons. So stay tuned to ARPA's channels, our newsletter and our social media networks for updates as that occurs. Again, a lot going on and we are so incredibly thankful to you for your support but also for your advocacy and ultimately we're thankful to our God in heaven for allowing this conversation to take place here in Ottawa. Hey there, I'm here to ask you a question today. Do you want a doctor with a clear conscience? Now, I suspect I could answer for everybody and say, of course we do. Of course we want doctors that are able to give us their professional medical opinion every single time. We want doctors that are able to help protect people when in a moment of weakness they ask for assisted suicide. We want to attract more doctors to the province and we want to make sure that the doctors that are here don't leave because our government and policymakers are asking them to harm their consciences. So that's where you come in. You've helped us in the past sign petitions. You've helped us send easy mails to MPPs. Now we're asking you to take it a step further. We're asking you to book a meeting with your MPP to discuss this important issue. Click the link below, send us your email address, let us know what MPP you'd be visiting. We're gonna send you the new uh, one pager I already showed you. It's got facts, figures, information, questions you can ask your MPP. Just generally, we're gonna give you information to help make sure that the visit that you make is as good as it can be. We're really hoping to get every single MPP visited in the province in the next couple of months, and we really need your help and support in this issue. So thank you very much in advance for considering, and we look forward to hearing from you. Have you ever thought about working for ARPA Canada? Well, right now we're looking for a full-time IT and systems administrator. What does that mean? Well, you'll be involved in managing and streamlining our information technology, managing our WordPress sites, audio visual and tech support. We're looking for someone who has a heart for using technology to maximize the quality and reach of ARPA's resources and activities. You can go to arpacanada.ca slash job underscore posting for more about this job posting. That's it for quick updates. Thanks to you for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you again next week.